Hey guys, Zal here. As I grow near to the end of my chemistry major, I can't help but look back and think about the hardest classes that I've taken in this already incredibly difficult major. So I just wanted to share with you guys today a list of the hardest classes I've taken in chemistry, and let's hop right into it. Now, the fifth hardest class I've taken in chemistry isn't necessarily hard from an academic standpoint. In fact, it's one of the easier classes you can take in the chemistry major, but it's more the context of when a lot of people take this class that makes it really difficult to get through and that is General Chemistry 1. Now, General Chemistry 1 has some of the easiest material you'll cover throughout your chemistry major, but the issue here is that most people, and I for one took it in my first semester of college, so you're getting used to a lot of new things, coming to college for the first time, and still taking a relatively intensive class, and you're still trying to learn your study habits, learn how to do well in classes in college and what differs from college and high school classes. And so all these things on top of a pretty rigorous class make it so General Chemistry 1 is a way more difficult class than it seems on the surface. I'm sure many of you, if you took this class maybe as a junior or senior, it would be an absolute breeze. But coming in as a first semester freshman, this class is incredibly difficult and it was very challenging for me as well as a first semester freshman. But if you put in the work and if you learn how to get adjusted and do well in college classes, there's no reason you can't ace this class. Now the next fourth most difficult class that I've taken is Organic Chemistry 1. Organic Chemistry 1 is an infamous class and it's notoriously difficult for so many people and I think this is because it requires a completely different skill set and way of thinking because you're not really going into the math of chemistry here. This is all about spatial reasoning and problem solving based off chemical structures and there's basically no math involved in here. You have to reason your way through all these problems purely based off their chemical structures, functional groups, and you also have to be able to think in three dimensions in terms of chirality and different chiral molecules. On top of this, I took Organic Chemistry 1 over the summer, so it was half the length of a normal semester, but I had all the material from a normal Organic Chemistry 1 class. That being said, I absolutely loved Organic Chemistry 1, worked super hard, aced the class and just had a lot of fun because this was the first class where I took it and really felt like I was getting into the meat and potatoes of chemistry. I actually felt like I was doing chemistry instead of like unit conversions and all the sort of stuff you do in Gen Chem. Organic Chemistry 1 is where you really start digging into chemistry and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Now number three on my list of hardest chemistry classes is biochemistry. Now biochemistry is another one of these classes that isn't classically the most difficult and it's not the most difficult to grasp the new concepts based off the material. I just thought it was a frustrating class because I'm not really interested in biochemistry or that area of chemistry. So it was kind of pushing towards a subject area I wasn't interested in. And on top of this, there was a bunch of new nomenclature that's purely used in biological systems that we had to learn for the class, even if it's a chemistry class. And it's another big thing that I didn't like about biochemistry was Unlike like organic chemistry and all, where I felt like there was a good portion of problem solving and putting a bunch of puzzle pieces together, biochemistry just felt like a class of brute force memorization. I also took this class in the spring semester that things originally went online, which added a whole layer of difficulty because there was a lot of confusion around how the class structure would work. And so, although the material in the class isn't really hard, I just had trouble getting through the class for all those listed reasons. Now, number two for my second hardest runner-up of the hardest chemistry classes I've taken in my chemistry major is organic synthesis. Organic synthesis is a 400 level organic chemistry class that's not offered at every school and it basically delves into really what you would do as a synthetic organic chemist. You learn way more about organic chemistry. You basically learn that so much stuff that you learned in Orgo 1 and 2 is oversimplified and really doesn't give the whole picture of organic chemistry. 
this class was really cool because it wasn't necessarily classic lectures, you know, problem sets and all. It was much more we learned about reactions, we read scientific papers to see a lot about chiral reactions, and then we were just given molecules and we had to synthesize these molecules using commonly found chemicals from places like Sigma Aldrich. This is extremely difficult because not only do you have to keep this repertoire of a bunch of different reactions, but you have to make these very complicated chiral molecules and you have to have that chirality dead on perfect. A lot of this class was just figuring out how to make ultra complex chiral molecules, being able to think in that three dimensions and delve way more into like the subjects of chirality and chiral reactions than you did in Orgo 1 and 2. You also learn about certain reactions that actually were chiral reactions from like Orgo 2 that you don't necessarily use in that context in those lower level classes. But once you get into organic synthesis, you kind of have to act as a chemistry detective doing this whole jigsaw puzzle of molecules and put everything together based off the scraps of knowledge you've picked up. This was a super different way of thinking from so many classes I've taken, and this made this class extremely challenging, extremely difficult, but also it was a very rewarding class, and I really enjoyed it. If your school has an organic synthesis class, I would totally recommend it. Okay, now for the one you've all been waiting for, the most difficult chem class that you can take as a chem major, or the most difficult chem class that I've ever been in as a chem major. And I'm sure any of you who have gotten and your upperclassmen in a chem major can kind of predict what class this is going to be. It's an infamous class, and that is physical chemistry, specifically the quantum mechanics semester. Physical chemistry is like mathematical chemistry on absolute steroids. You learn about all those equations that you used in general chemistry and how all that stuff worked, except you're going and looking at these equations and all that you used in general chemistry, and you're actually deriving them from like Schrodinger's equation and looking at the quantum mechanical model of the atom and doing all the proofs and derivatives and like the mathematical structures and how all those quantum mechanical aspects of the atom were worked and how they were discovered and this is so difficult. Physical chemistry requires intense mathematics. You really need to know your calculus, you need to know your multivariable, all that stuff. And you also just need to be able to think in completely abstract ways because what your intuition and this chemical intuition you've been building up through all your years of chemistry work on this like larger scale. When you get down to the quantum mechanics and physical chemistry, that stuff goes out the window. Quantum mechanics operates on such different rules than we're used to that none of the subject area you go through is intuitive. And so you really have to work to find the mathematical like derivatives of all these things from Schrodinger's equation and be able to solve these quantum mechanical issues. The amount of intense math and work you have to put in to understand that for an already difficult subject is just, that by far makes physical chemistry the hardest class that most chemistry majors will ever take. The American Chemical Society even sells this little bumper sticker that says, I survived PCHEM, and that should just give you a kind of gauge on the infamy that physical chemistry has. That being said, physical chemistry is actually really interesting and it's really cool to look at the quantum mechanical ways all of this stuff works. You can learn about all your like particle and box and electrons and all this little things about quantum mechanics that I actually think is really cool. But my god, is that a difficult class? So be sure to be prepared with your math and be prepared to pour your heart and soul and blood, sweat and tears into this class when you finally take it because it is very difficult and Godspeed. So those are my hardest classes in my chemistry major that I've taken so far. Uh, if you disagree with any of these, if you have your own list, be sure to comment it down below. And if you like the video, be sure to let me know on the little like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.